incredibly strong rear legs, which is what makes them able to jump and leap as well as they can. But that powerful kick and those powerful muscles can actually be a problem if you pick them up the wrong way. When you pick up a bunny, the biggest thing is to keep them close and to control the hind legs. And we're going to show two different ways. One is how you can pick them up just with your hands, and the other is the safest way, probably using a towel. And really, it depends on what you're doing with them, if you're able to use the towel or not. So we're going to pick this little girl up and show you. So the biggest thing that you want to do is control the, the hind legs. That's where the power is. That's where she's going to kick. And so when I go to pick her up and scoop up underneath there, and I've actually got my pinkies underneath her hind legs, I'm keeping her very close to me, and then I'm keeping a little bit of pressure on the top so that she can extend those hind legs. I've got them trapped in there, and we're good to go. Now this works really good for the little ones, however, with one here like Bunny, I would never be able to do that because she's so big. So if you have to pick up the big ones, you want to come underneath them, just let them know you're coming. And you can kind of get up underneath their chest with the front hand, and then use your other hand to get the back legs in and then keep them against your body. And the same thing happens, you keep their back legs in, you keep them pressed against your body so that they can't kick. The most dangerous thing that can happen is if you're holding them out like this, and I know she's pretty calm, so I'm going to hold her real quickly incorrectly just to show you. If you hold her out like this and she were to kick those back legs very hard, she doesn't kick against anything. And so it's a similar analogy if you've ever like shot a bow and arrow to what they call dry firing a bow. They kick very hard, but there's no pressure against that. So all that energy just reaches the end of the kick, and it's a very jolting thing. And it can damage their back, it can damage their nerves to the point that it can leave them paralyzed or even break their pelvis or their spine. So it's very, very important to keep that that way. Generally, their front legs are not an issue. However, rabbits do have very, very sharp little claws. You can have them trimmed, their nails or claws. And you can have them trimmed in that, but they're very hard. These guys burrow out in the wild, and so those nails are used for digging and burrowing into the ground. And so you do want to be a little bit careful with that because you're unlikely to ever be bitten by a rabbit, but you can get scratched up pretty badly. So if you have a bunny that's a little more fractious or if they're not quite sure they want to be picked up, come here, bunny. You can use a towel. Any towel will work. You want to just open it up so it's nice and big, lay it right across the back, and then come right underneath her neck. You guys are in the way. Come here. There we go. Okay. And come right up underneath these legs. And then what I'm going to do is just gently lift her a little bit and get those feet tucked in so that just her little head is poking out of the front. This way she can't reach up and scratch me or anything like that. I'm going to grab the towel here and the same thing. I want to keep those back legs tucked in nicely and just push her in. So you won't be able to see much, but you can see that we have those back legs tucked in. And then I can hold her like this. I have her contained and she can't scratch me with those front legs. And so this is a good way if you have one that's a little bit nervous, if they're in a strange environment, or if you just need to pick them up and they're, they usually scratch you. This is a good way to hold them. And it kind of acts like a little bit of a swatting blanket. A lot of bunnies will get comfortable in this position and they won't fight too much. You can see she's pretty much relaxed at this point. We can do just about anything we needed to to her and do that. And this works for big bunnies, small bunnies. You can do this with any of them and get them picked up this way safely. I actually use this if you ever have to give a bunny medicine um, because a lot of times it's going to be a liquid medicine that you're going to have to give in their mouth and so this is a good way to kind of keep them contained especially if you're by yourself and you don't have somebody to help you let me move you real quick a little bit and so what you can do is you can actually set them down get them all wrapped up just like that so you can see your back legs are covered up under there get her all wrapped up like this now we've got her pretty well contained so we can just kind of lean just gently on her so she doesn't try to jump i'm not putting a whole lot of weight on her and then if I need to, I get right up underneath her mouth there, and if I have to give her a little bit of medicine, I can work it right into this little pouch. You let me open your mouth. There we go. And give the medicine right in there through the little gap. And you can see then if we were given a liquid medicine, she would just swallow it right down. And so this keeps her contained. She can't scratch. She can't jump. And it's a very safe way for her. It's a little more comfortable. It's very safe for you as well if you're having to give that medicine. Would you like to be free, ma'am?